you cyberpunks and retro nerds out there. Welcome to a very special video on Neon Trash. It's been about roughly five fucking years since the last time I actually filmed a video at Cinema Wasteland. That's right, motherfuckers. Me and my boys are traveling up to Strongsville, Ohio, and we're going to be checking out the latest Cinema Wasteland Horror Movie Expo. You guys are going to be coming up with us the entire ride, so sit back, chill, crack a cold one, and hang out for a bit. Let's go, motherfucker. Uh, here we are, Johnny Rocket. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Driving with Dougals <laughs> on the way to Cinema Wasteland. And what a better day for it oh, than yeah. <laughs> shitty fucking rain. Hooray, hooray, huh? Early spring thunderstorm. That's why I've got such an intense level of concentration on my face like, here right Before now. we could even get the camera out, we drove under a bunch of trees and like had like several branches hit the car. Yeah, like it was just raining sticks. <laughs> Alright, we made it here. Yes, the boys have finally made it here to Cinema Wasteland. Yes, let's take a look around. It looks like it's full tilt this year. Stuff coming for you, Johnny Rockets picks are gonna be the oh, fire no. lit fam in the heezy. Damn, yeah. <laughs> the question What is, is the question? The question is, we just got done partying at Cinema Wasteland 2023. We did. Uh, what do you think uh, of the event this year, man? Oh, it was, it was a blast. I mean, it's just, it's great to not only see all the cool stuff that they have, and they have not, you know slacked in that regard they've you still can get you know really rare amazing stuff here i mean i am i'm so overstimulated right now <laughs> like there was so much here like uh, i mean I, I don't know honestly i mean i, I kind of knew what to expect but still nothing like can really prepare you for like the experience of cinema wasteland like i could see like i mean if, if you know like horror is really your niche and just like you know just odd weird rare movies is that's like your thing like this like you have to come to this well guys we just got back from cinema wasteland 2023 oh yeah i think Smart. it's safe to say that we all had a blast at this festival and what a hoot it was to film there after all these years it has been far too long right dude yeah, it's way too long we dropped some cheese and tonight we're going to be doing a double feature we're starting off with tommy boy's pick right. and i thought we would check out the early 1980s aussie jalio called nightmares i've definitely seen this movie at cinema wasteland multiple times i'm familiar with it i've seen it online i have been itching to cover this movie on the channel and I thought you know what guys tonight is the night we are going to be watching a little Ozploitation yeah. if you will. Why not? You know yeah. I mean, when was the last time we had a movie from Australia on here? Without further ado motherfuckers we're going to be peeping the motherfucking movie you guys know this routine check out that motherfucking trailer peep that shit and when we get back you guys are going to have our opinions on Nightmares. Nightmares? I, I nightmares, yeah. Like, oh, pluralized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch closely now, but don't dare look behind you. Just feel the skin crawl on the back of your neck. Something is 
is lurking in the theater, and all the doors are barred, so there is no way out. Down. Fifteen years ago, this lovely young woman had a nightmarish experience. Today, she's a grown woman, and her nightmares are still happening. But now, they're all coming true. Bioscope presents Jenny Newman, Gary Sweet, Nina Landis, in a new story of terror featuring Max Phipps and John Michael Housen, Nightmares. The screams of terror in the night are silenced only by a sharp sliver of glass. Now take a look over your shoulder before you leave this theater, because you will never enter another theater in quite the same way again. Many motion pictures promise you terror, but Nightmares is truly frightening. We just got done watching the Aussie Jalio thriller Nightmares, and I gotta say, I kind of liked this movie. It's got all the staples that you expect from a Jalio. Uh, definitely an emphasis on mood, uh, murder, and mystery. At first, like you're thinking, like, oh, it couldn't be this obvious, but the movie is this fucking obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, like, yeah, I know. It's just, it's you know, it's cool to see like an Australian slasher film. We haven't seen too many of those. Um, but, um, on the downside, which it was kind of ponderous, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, it just, it kind of spun its wheels a little bit, and it yep. just, it didn't, we kept, ex Tom made a good comment earlier, you kept expecting them to connect the dots more, and it never really did that. It was yeah. kind of like paint by numbers. It was interesting. So, like, the basic premise is this young girl, uh, she's traumatized as a kid, uh, she sees a very, uh, sexualized situation unfolding in front of her. Uh, that's what happens in movies like this. Yeah, like uh, homages to maybe Christmas Evil and, uh, you know, pieces, yeah. you know, slasher films of that genre where a young person witnesses something that kind of like imprints yeah, itself on their brain. brain. Yeah, I've been drinking. <laughs> As you guys know, since the beginning of this video. Yeah, I started drinking, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's not to say that this movie is a failure overall. It's just, uh, it could have been so much more, and we wanted it to be so much more, but I'm happy that I watched it because, like Adam was saying over here, we don't see too many Aussie slasher films, especially ones that come from the Jalio angle. I don't know, I was in the mood for something like this. So, uh, for me, out of 10 stars, I'm gonna give the movie Nightmares. I'm going six and a half, almost a flat seven out of ten. Adam, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, um, I appreciated this movie. It was a fun little slasher movie to watch, which is perfect for Cinema Wasteland and the type of films that, you know, that yeah. it highlights and that we're into. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was, you know, good little, good little slasher film. Um, but uh, I guess I was left feeling a bit let down by the fact that the film didn't take more chances with, it's, I mean, it had a good, it had a really good setup. I, I like what they were going for. But, as I might have said in another review, it didn't quite go there, like I felt that it should. So, for that reason, um, I guess I'll give this a flat six. Johnny Rocket is going to be joining us for movie numero two-o. We're going to wait for that motherfucker to get here, <laughs> and then we're going to start the second film. All right. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> When thinking of the second choice for this double feature, um, Tom did, you know, the slasher feature, which, you know, going with Cinema Wasteland and the movies that it, it you know, has kind of going for its theme and everything like that, it appeals to that, cra that crowd, but also it appeals to many other crowds too, hence the beauty of Cinema Wasteland. You're here. And another aspect of that is the kaiju genre. Ooh. So I decided to, uh, in that same vein, I decided to dig into the old VHS vault and oh. whipped out War of the Gargantuas! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Which I've been wanting yes! to show John Rockland for quite some time, oh, so it works out beautifully. Oh, <laughs> Did you just get my this? God. Uh, Did you pick this up today? Wow! No, actually, no. I it's been, it's been with me for a minute. <laughs> Why not? Video time, guys. So while we bust open the old VHS <laughs> vault, you guys get to peep that trailer! <laughs> peep! Boom! That! Shit! 
Yes. And when we get back, you guys are going to know all of our opinions on War of the Gargantuans. got done watching War of the Gargantuas. And there were some Gargantuas, and did they war? Yes, oh, we are. ever did they war. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is, man, this is like a peak rubber suit dude's fight. <laughs> like, it's smashing buildings. Like, I mean, a lot of buildings do get smashed. <laughs> there, th this movie has, like, good wheels spinning in that aspect, and then bad wheels spinning in other aspects. And, like, the way they kind of edited some of the parts with, you know, the, the professor and his assistant and whatnot. Like, I don't know. It really it was like they just put oil and water together and stirred it up real fast and hoped it would kind of <laughs> stick. And I mean, then you get these, like, great scenes that drag on of them just fighting and demolishing building after building after building after building after building. After building. Like, and it's just, my gosh, and you can't believe this is only 92 minutes. I'm so glad I got to show Johnny Rocket this movie. I've been wanting to for quite a while. Um, yeah, this is just a big, dumb, fun, goofball of a movie. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's just a perfect movie to watch with the dudes, you know, after drinking a couple beers. I don't know, like tonight after we've gone to like a horror convention. So that's one of the main reasons why I picked it for tonight. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great premise. I mean, you got like one gargantuo, like one brown, big brown, brown gargantuo who's uh, good and one green gargantuo who's evil, you know, and they're both like these big King Kong, like super ape type creatures and they both like battle the fuck out towards the end and all that, <laughs> which is great. And uh, it just, I don't know, I mean like everything, there's everything to love about, you know, the kaiju genre in this movie. I feel like more of the gargantuans started off strong, had a lot of strong elements, um, there's definitely some off-putting elements and a lot of wheels spinning towards the middle of the film. Um, it gets off into its own weird little strange tangent. Like, it's, it's strange. Like, there's elements that you're on board with, but then all of a sudden it's like diverting into a direction that you don't yeah. give a fuck about. <laughs> yeah, those abrupt scene changes were just too jarring in several places. Yeah, like, so, I don't, I, know what they were. I don't know, like, we watch a lot of kaijus, we watch a lot of kaijus on this channel. Uh, this had a lot of promise, and it more or less met those promises that it made. Uh, the front cover of this old VHS implies that you're gonna watch this big old, you know, brown and <laughs> golden ape fight this giant swamp thing looking motherfucking ape. You kinda don't get that. Uh, not until the very end. And when you do get it, it's badass, but he's not as green as this cover implies. <laughs> Star counts. Yes. Um, let's see, I was kicking around a couple of numbers earlier, and I'm kind of feeling a bit like five and a half here on War of the Gargantuas. Like, okay. it, 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 it's, I, I had like a nine out of ten time watching this, but it's really like a five and a half, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. I would love to find this on, I mean, the, the VHS held up very well on Tom's, um, you know, VCR, and I would love to yeah, find maybe. this on DVD, like, a little cleaned up and all that, because I'm sure it would help it and all that, uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you guys are right, yeah, there probably is, you know, there are times when it gets a little spin in the wheels in terms of trying to flesh out the plot line and everything like that, but, uh, I think ultimately, I mean, in terms of just the final clash between the two shaggy giants, it uh, it just works. I mean, it just it uh, it works beautifully, and especially since you know the brown gargantua, I kind of felt like was you know they really do make him out to be like an empathetic sort of like you know being and all that, and he just you know doesn't want to fight with his brother, but that's what ends up happening anyway, which is tragic. So I uh, I dig this movie. I give I'm gonna give it a seven out of half. I gotta say I'm a little bit with John on this one. He said a five and a half. I'm kind of leaning five and a half, almost a six. 
Not my favorite kaiju flick, but I do like the ones that feature giant hairy apes. Why the fuck not? Hey. Giant hairy aquatic sea apes? Yes. <laughs> and we got them in spades, motherfucker. I mean, this movie is all about the hairy kaijus. Until the next time, tune in to Neon Trash. Yeah, it felt Almost like 92 minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a little day drinking. Tommy the Hammer, Adam McDougley's Let's Do This. Yo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so bright. Gotta wear shades, yeah. people. There we go. We gotta wear shades. <laughs> All right. <That's> it. Yeah. <laughs>